Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my memory spread for the week of August 27th through September 2nd. So we are moving into September for this week, um, but it still feels like summer around here. So I have a summery kit that I still wanna use. This is from Nikki Plus Three and it's called Mermaid Lagoon. Um, not really any particular reason why I chose this kit. I just think it's super pretty and I haven't had mermaids in my planner in a really long time. So. I figured it was time to pull some in and I just love this artwork with the watercolor effect and everything. I think it's so beautiful. So on this page, we have eight full boxes and some third boxes at the bottom. We've got the bottom washi, the washi strips, a sidebar tracker, and then canceled stickers. And then the last page I got has the half boxes, quarter boxes, and appointment labels, flags, and then some text icons here in the corner. So I picked up the mini kit, which is only these three pages. Um, I've mentioned this before, but I'm trying to use more mini kits now because I tend to have so many stickers left over that I feel kind of bad about. Um, but there are some kits that it just makes more sense to purchase the full kit because it's either like more cost effective that way or they're only sold as full kits. So I will still purchase those, but I'm trying to make more of an effort to purchase smaller kits or a la carte if I can. So anyways, um, I'm going to start right ahead by placing down my bottom washi as usual. I think this is so pretty and I hope it turns out beautiful. Um, if you're interested in watching then stay tuned for my bottom washi this week I decided to layer both of these strips that came in the kit and originally I was not going to use the thinner one but then I decided that the mermaid scale print was just so pretty and I couldn't pass it up then moving to my sidebar, this week there wasn't a quote that came in the kit, so I decided to write one in myself. I didn't have a lot of space, so I just wrote in Mermaid Dreams with my, I think that is my zebra um, brush lettering pen. I'm not super happy with how that turned out. I feel like I could have written better, but I think we're always more critical of our own work. Um, underneath that, where I had a little bit of empty space, I put down a Clever Gal Crafts gold foil bow, and I just thought that was really cute to take up that empty space. This week I'm using glitter headers from Mandy Dreams and I think one of them is from a leftover kit because I ran out of the pastel purple color. But anyways, for my sidebar, I put down a habit tracker to track working out and then I used one of the third boxes in the kit with a happy moment sticker from Paper and Milk to mark some of the happy moments from the week. At the bottom, I put down a Monday through Sunday tracker to track my dinners. I ended up shifting things around because I had just a little too much space and um, instead of the glitter header I put down a strip of washi with the scales um, just to make everything fit nicely. Then I put down the flag to cover up the top corner flag and for this week I decided to pull in some gold foil date covers. I haven't used these ones in quite a while and these are from Simply Watercolor Co. I think they're so pretty and I also used the gold foil date dots that came with the date covers. On Monday, I started by putting down a glitter header and then a half box. On the half box, I put down a gold foil coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker, and um, I use that to mark Coffee Monday. Of course, always need coffee coming back from the weekend. Then underneath that, I put down the large Target Cup sticker, which is from Simply Me Kish. That one is so cute. I have the cup just like it, and I use that to mark that I did a little crafting that day um, because my coworker just had a baby. So I wanted to make one of those cute baby milestone signs for her. Um, just as a little gift. Then I used a quarter box with like an unhappy Coffee Monsters Co. emoji because I totally thought that this day was already Friday and it was just Monday, like the week had just begun and I literally already thought it was over. So it was kind of a rough day. Um, then I used a strip of washi with a gold foil remember header from Rose Color Days. Um, under that, I used a two heart, or I'm sorry, a two bow checklist and that's gold foil from White Deer Stationery to mark something things that I had to get done at work. Um, the laptop sticker I put down, I think is from Sparkly Studio, but I do end up switching it out because it was just a little too big. At the bottom, I used a full box. And then, like I said, I switched out the laptop sticker. And I think the new one I put down is from Little Miss Papery. I then put down a quarter box with a weights sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams because I did some weights workout when I got home that day. And then at the end of the night, we didn't do anything exciting. We just watched TV to close out the night. So I used a little glitter TV sticker from Sparkly Studio. On Tuesday, I decided to start by putting down a full box at the top. The first thing I wanted to mark was that I made a sandwich that morning for lunch. And then um, the sandwich sticker is from Happy Daya Stickers. 
I then put down a glitter header with a half box. The um, bow paper clip sticker is from Planner Frenzy, and I used that to mark a meeting that I had at work that day. Um, when I got home, I did a cardio workout. The cardio script sticker is from MJ and Hope, and then the shoe sticker is from Paper and Milk. I made some Brussels sprouts that night, which is one of my favorite meals. Um, so I used a little flag sticker with a cooking girl from Happy Dia stickers. And then at the very bottom, we just watched more TV that night. I think we just had a pretty chill week this week, just basically trying to take it easy and unwind after work. The TV sticker is from Brandy Shop. On Wednesday, I had three meetings, which made it a very busy day. I used a washi strip at the top and I brush lettered today on the washi strip. I think this kit didn't come with any headers, so I just kind of had to create them as I went along. And anyways, then I found these really cute hexagon stickers, which are from Lemon Paper Co. And I used that to mark the times of the three meetings that I had. And then after work that day, I went shopping at Marshall's. I was just going to get a gift for a friend. And then I ended up leaving with like $100 worth of like clothes and things like that. So that's just kind of what happens at Marshall's every time I go. But that shopping girl sticker is from Paper Princess Plans. Underneath that, I used a half box with a gold foil dumbbell sticker from Planning World to mark that I did a workout when I got home again, and I had just a little space left in that box, so I put that it was a bar workout that I did, and I actually really enjoy bar, so that was really fun. I cooked again that night, so I used a quarter box with a crock pot sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that, and then at the end of the night, we just watched TV again. Like I said, it was just a super chill week, um, that munchkin watching TV sticker is from Once More With Love. I went back up to the top of Wednesday and put down a bow paper clip sticker from Very Cute Designs just to add a little something and also place down a glitter header on top of the full box. For Thursday, I started by putting down a washi strip at the top. I then used a quarter box with a pencils in a cup sticker from Lemon Paper Co. to mark an early morning meeting that I had. And then I had two IEPs on this day. It was very busy. The first one I put down on a half box and um, the IEP flag stickers are from Lily Grove Designs. When I got home that night, I did some editing first, and so I put that on a flag with an edit sticker from Love Shira. Then I put down a full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. I then placed down a glitter header on top of that full box, and in that remaining space there, I wanted to mark that we did date night on Thursday. The gold foil heart icon is from Clever Gal Crafts. Then on the full box, I just wanted to mark that we watch TV again. Um, this week, we were binging this show called Hiyori's Bed and Breakfast, which is super, super good. I love this show so much and would totally recommend it. It's on Netflix, and it's just a really sweet, feel-good show, which is why we love watching it every night. And then for Friday, I started with a um, quarter box. The gold foil balloon sticker is from Student Planning. And then I decided to lift it up and stick a glitter header on top. So I did that real quick. Um, I used the full box underneath with another gold foil coffee from Hazel Stickers to mark that I got Friday coffee, of course, or actually I wrote Friday coffee. Um, and then I used a quarter box with another bow paper clip sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark an early morning meeting that I had that morning. Underneath the full box, I used a small strip of washi with a today or I'm sorry, a to do script sticker um, to mark some things that I had to get done after work. I placed down the gold foil bow checklist from White Deer Stationery to mark some things that I did. The makeup sticker is from Chasing Chels and I used that to mark getting ready. And that evening, I drove up to LA to celebrate one of my friend's birthdays. She's one of my really good friends, so I was really happy that I got to celebrate her 29th birthday with her. So that was really fun. Fun. I then realized that I didn't have enough space to mark things that I wanted to, so I cut off a little bit of the full box and shifted everything up just a couple millimeters. Um, to mark driving to LA, I used a car sticker from Happy Dye Stickers, and then we went to a cool little bar called The Rhythm Room, and they played like jazz music, and it just had really cool vibes, so I wanted to mark that. The drink sticker that I put down is from Hazel Sticker, and then at the very end of the night, we got some tacos at 2 a.m., which is pretty classic. And so I used some taco stickers from Plans with Finesse to mark that. 
For the weekend, I started by placing down this Hello Weekend banner that is from Little Red Prince. And then in the morning on Saturday, I was not feeling so great. I had to chug a ton of water when I woke up um, in an effort to feel better and just take some ibuprofen and stuff, which totally helped. So that little hungover munchkin is from Once More With Love. We then went and got some brunch. We met up with some of her other friends and um, it was at the spot that was really good. So I put that on a half box. The cat pancake stickers are from Sweet Ava's Paper, and I also used a gold foil heart from Clever Gal Crafts. I wanted to move where it was, but um, it got really stuck on this paper because I don't remember what this paper is called, but it's extremely sticky. I think it's premium matte, and um, while it's super smooth and really nice, it just is super sticky, so things don't come off of it really well. But anyways, I then put down a glitter header with a full box. Um, after brunch, we decided to walk down the beach in Venice, so that was really nice um, and just an interesting experience experience for sure. The coffee sticker is from Love for Stickers. I use that to mark that I got some coffee. And then um, I had this leftover like gold foil bow that I cut off from one of the checklists. So I decided to stick it on the mermaid and just add a little decoration to her hair. When I got home, I was so tired because we slept like five hours the night before. So I used a quarter box with a sleeping mask sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that I took a nap. And then um, at the end of the night, I went and got some boba with one of my friends and then also went over to her house afterwards. So to mark that, the boba sticker is from Kina Prince. And then that glittery house sticker is from Mandy Dreams. On Sunday, I started by placing a full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then moving back to the top, I used a strip of washi with a sleep in pillow sticker that I'm not sure where it came from because that was in my leftovers collection. Um, then I used a laptop from, I think that's from Love for Stickers again. And that edit script sticker is from Samantha May Sticks. I put down a strip of washi and then that to go script sticker is from I think K Stickers Co. Um, the triple arrow gold foil sticker is from Student Planning. I just added that for a little gold foil decoration and then I found a heart checklist from my leftovers collection. I cut off two hearts to mark the places that we had to get some groceries and then that day we decided to make some dumplings. It turned out to be so fun. I was really inspired by crazy rich Asians actually um, and so I looked up this recipe. We got all the ingredients and it was so much fun. My boyfriend and I decided to make like our own filling and then try to see whose ended up being better. Um, I like to say that mine was better, but he might think differently. Anyways, it was just a really fun experience and the dumpling is from Hazel Sticker. I then did my nails that afternoon. So I used a um, an appointment label and that nail polish sticker is from Lemon Paper Co. On the full box, I first put down a gold foil laptop icon from Planning World to mark that I filmed. I think the film script sticker is from Echo Hui Craft Co. And at the end of the night, we just watched our favorite show again. And so I used a munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. And that's it for my spread this week. I feel like it went by really fast. Um, but anyways, as usual, I just go back in and fill out all of my sidebar items as my last little thing. And then I zoom out and just show you guys these stickers that I have left over. Um, again, I only had these three sheets, but somehow I managed to still have leftover. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this week's plan with me. I hope you guys enjoy this. I love this combination of colors. I think it's so beautiful and bright. And of course the mermaids that I just haven't, I don't think I've had mermaids in my planner for like over two years. So um, this was really fun. But anyways, I hope you like how this turned out. Um, let me know if you have any questions and thank you so, so much for watching. As usual, um, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.